Hey y'all, it's Pierrebot from Game Press again, and we are here talking about next week's event. So next week is going to be the Blossom Festival is the theme. It starts on Wednesday, April 6th, and it goes through Tuesday, April 12th. So we're going to go over all the creatures, where they are, where you can find them, and what we think you should dart. So let's get to it. First, we have our commons. This is Wednesday through Thursday, and there are 36 attempts. We have Triceratops Gen 2, which is a global anytime. Ankylosaurus Gen 2, which is a Tuesday-only global. Parasaurolophus, which is a local four-day dawn dusk. And Glyptodon, which is a local one anytime. Honestly, uh, with most of the time with the commons, we would just say go for what you need. Um, Glyptodon is actually pretty good right now. And it's really good in the common tournaments. It's also a local creature. Um, Triceratops Gen 2 is a global anytime. So we really don't think that's something that would be beneficial to go for. Um, we would focus on either the Tuesday creature, Ankylosaurus Gen 2, or the two locals, depending on basically what DNA you need for what creatures you are currently working on. Um, I think most people usually end up just darting what they see. So next we have Friday and Saturday, and we have three um, different epics. We have nine attempts total, and we have Bumpy, which is an event exclusive, Stiggy Moloch, which is a local for any time, and Sonorosaurus, which is an event exclusive. This is going to be a tough one for a lot of people um, because Bumpy is event exclusive and it has a fantastic hybrid. However, you are also going to need that Stiggy Moloch um, for that exact same hybrid. So um, we still think Bumpy or Sonorosaurus is going to be the best options of the two because they are event exclusive. But if you absolutely 100% need Stiggy Moloch, then um, I think that's an, another option that a lot of people are going to go for. And there's nothing wrong with that. So kind of like the commons, go for what you absolutely need. But Bumpy or Sonora is going to be the best if you cannot choose. So we actually do get to um, dart a unique creature on Sunday. Um, it's one attempt. So basically you get to choose between Scoonosaurus or Mono, Mono Rhino. Um, of the two, I think Scoona is still a little bit better right now, especially in this meta. Um, Model Rhino seems to be falling a little bit just um, with its swapping ability. There's just better options out there. So we think Skuna over Rhino for sure. Then Monday and Tuesday, we have 24 attempts at the rares. Uh, we have Servalsis, um, which is an event exclusive, or the Moose. Uh, Nesudoceratops, which is a local 2 anytime. Fukuisaurus, which is a local 3 anytime. And then Tuojangosaurus, which is a global anytime. Uh, honestly, once again, we're going to go with our event exclusive creatures, really the best option to go for. So we think the moose is going to be your best option. The bear is still very, very good. Um, the fuku is actually not a bad option either. If you're building that hybrid, um, that hybrid, which is, um, it, it's with the one of the continental epics, it is fantastic in tournaments. So if you live in the European continent um, and you want to build that legendary hybrid, it's a good one. So you could go Fuku. But I think Servalsis is going to be your better option on this one. So we have a an epic themed um, strike event, epic strike on Friday. It looks like it's going to be Rajasaurus. We have boosts uh, strike events again. Once again, these past two events, we have had more boosts in the strikes, but we have not seen anything yet saying that we are going to get that again. It would be nice, but we're, as far as we're aware, we're going to be going back to the regular 25 per. Um, all of the incubators are also going to be the same Blossom Festival theme. And then we also have a themed scent on a uh, scent strike on Thursday, and it looks like it is the amphibian scent. So you're going to see the Demorphodons, um, the Kulasukis, the, um, those creatures in the scent. And then we have a badge strike, and it looks like an emote strike as well. Um, so that's going to be available on the map. So um, we are actually, I don't think they have announced quite yet 
what the next um, hybrid pursuit is. We are just finishing up um, with the Stegoceros pursuit for that hybrid. We should be getting another hybrid um, pursuit coming up this upcoming week. Um, we will post as soon as we know what that looks like. Um, and there's also going to be a new um, Alliance Championship, new tournaments. So it's going to be a big week this week as far as announcements on things. Um, don't forget to go to the Game Press website. Oh, actually, it looks like the next pursuit for hybrid is Rinchy Scion. So Amphia Scion, Amphia Scion, which is the, the common dog, is going to be available April 6th through April 12th. So that is going to be our next hybrid pursuit. Um, make sure you go onto the Game Press website. We are going to have our article out on Wednesday with all of this information, with the images, what we suggest you want to, you should dart. We'll also have a link to 50 hard cash in game. So don't forget to go in and get that. It is going to start being available um, by noon Eastern on Wednesday. And that goes through Sunday of the next, or sorry, Tuesday of the next week. Um, so thanks for listening. We have a pretty exciting event. We're pretty excited about it. Um, some good epics. Uh, it's always good to be able to dart uniques. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, so all of the awesome content, you don't want to miss out on it. And thanks for listening, y'all.